So, um, we're at Nam. I think we should just leave it just to see. Mm -hmm. It's been up there for San Francisco. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Shoot, man, it just got here. <laughs> <laughs> It's Nicky Six from Deals. It's, it's but on the real fake Nicky Six. It's it's, it's Sicky Nicks. If if the real Nicky Six is here, will you please stand up? <laughs> <laughs> Motel 6 that smells kind of weird and, <laughs> and is, is not particularly clean but it's home sweet home for the next four yeah, four days something like that anyway like the video we're uh, we're officially walk with me Glenn walk with me at the Nam show <laughs> <laughs> I met six string who are you Go away. I'm taller than him as well. Look at that. Hey. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little child. Look at the badge says under 18. Loser. <laughs> I'd say someone just hit off something. Well, either way, I don't want to die, so... <laughs> Probably, there's so many people, it might just be... So great start to Nam this year. <laughs> I went to Nam, gone wrong. <laughs> police called. <laughs> yeah, police called. We don't know what's going on, but everybody is out of the building right now. Woohoo! Share every channel, quick. Oh, I'm Daniel Naden. Find me on YouTube. I'm a video game music composer. It's kind of overwhelming, the amount of, like, like stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm lost already. <laughs> I feel like we've overlooked like 90% of the stuff. <laughs> and it's still a mile yeah. that way. Well, we haven't even touched 5% of the stuff. Yeah. It's the Nemo starter pack. Remember the. <laughs> Outside. Okay, not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of that guy, but I like this. No, it's like... Is it painted? Oh, okay. It's kind of... It kind of feels like it. It's also not, though. Like, I robbed guitars. Gone wrong. <laughs> I robbed now. I robbed guitars, yeah. <laughs> like the outer shell of the instruments we glue two parts together in the mold and then we fill it in with a special mixture like a tone mixture which is like made of the mixture of the resins and uh, other other ingredients and starting from that point like we have any other like different like any other uh, guitar but the material is completely different and because of the way we are doing the the, mold, the molding process and like the, the infusion we can achieve the uh, outer layers with like different look like we have um, wood with different grain then we can use the carbon fiber with uh, like the different let's say grain over here so we can do the carbon bears for example naturally oh, so cool. stuff like that so whatever we put on the first layer 
it's visible if you put the, just a clear, clear paint on it. This guitar, also, as you can see, not only there's like a, the paint, but you, you have some kind of a texture. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So this is like a snake skin. And it's also the fabric inside. So we put just the fabric, then we paint on it, and we, we can achieve stuff like that. that I just ran into myself. <laughs> We're in NAMM 2023, we're here at the Cream Guitars booth and this guitar changes color. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello and welcome. I'm Luis, I'm the uh, president and the designer of Cream Guitars. And well, this is our voltage with this technology of electromagnetic paint that uh, we developed with a company that works with BMW and uh, they are based in Boston, in San Francisco, and what happened here is that you have two layers of paint, and changing the electromagnetic field, uh, we, we can change the, com the whole color, but th there is no pixels, there is no light, it's real paint. We found the drum section. Zenia Guitars, hey, what have you got Zenia. for us? Uh, we've got a lot of really cool stuff this year. So we are introducing our Master Select Series, which is the Walnut Royale, located right next to the Aluminum Neck Royale, which actually is my COO's personal guitar. That's been a fan favorite so far. Walnuts are going to be 36.5, and those are specs of the max. It's got master grade flame walnut, one piece body, one piece neck. We even use some for the inlays as well. Uh, compound radius, Seymour Duncan pickups, Tone Pros, electronics. Everything on the guitar that would normally be plastic is made out of wooden. So your pickup rings, your truss rod cover, back plate, pick guard. The only thing we didn't have time to do was make wooden knobs. So that's the only plastic component besides the pickups. Um, it's a proprietary mix of oils for the finish that we did. It's a hand applied oil finish, which is new to us, as well as the wooden appointments. Uh, and it's just a really cool guitar. I, everybody's been loving those. I personally kept one for myself. We had enough to make four. Two bound, two unbound. I kept one of the bound. So there's three in circulation on the open market. So yeah, this is a nice look at the guitar itself. So this is Master Grade Flame Walnut. It's not to be confused with Claro Walnut, which is much easier to source. The fact that we were able to get something of this quality was really astounding to us. Uh, and again, it's a one-piece body, one-piece neck. And it has really every modern appointment you would want on a guitar. Everything about this guitar I just am in love with. And I uh, am very excited to show this off here. This is kind of the pinnacle of the brand right now. And it is the very first of our Master Select series, which we hope to expand as time goes on with much cooler options and better exotic woods. I'm just very geeked out about it. So if you guys know anything about me, I'm a Colossal Kiss fan, in case it wasn't very obvious. And this is my Disneyland right now. I'm in my element. So there is the new black mirror Paul Stanley Ibanez Iceman, and it just looks awesome. And I didn't expect it to be here today, but this is my favorite thing at NAMM so far. So day, day one, hopefully it all gets better than this now. Now, as you can see, we're in a Motel 6, which means that the budget for this trip is uh, a shoestring. 
and pizza we had pizza it was uh it was 16 dollars for two slices so uh, this video is not sponsored but uh new merch for a limited time only we've got uh, a variety we've got guitar players are stupid a little call back to a previous video we've got uh the kdh stripe merch a variety of that uh good quality uh i i had like prototypes made two years ago of the stripey merch and it's still going as strong as ever so link in the description thank you very much it's supporting the channel directly no middleman straight from me uh thank you you motherfuckers of the bitch <laughs> i like it now we need I'm a thumbnail yeah, yeah. Then you need a yeah. picture yeah. of yeah. that yeah do, do, a, do a still of that i'm very happy uh, we're, we're here at the Ormsby booth. So we're here NAM 2023 at the Ormsby booth. I'm here with Brian. Brian's gonna tell us what we've got new at the Ormsby booth. Uh, yeah, so 2023, um, we are doing our factory standard uh, line, which will be made in Australia uh, at our custom shop, um, but built to order, so no custom specs. All the specs are picked already and all the information uh, is available on our website as far as that goes. They're gonna come in three different tiers. So we have, you know, a basic matte finish. Uh, we have a swamp ash, and then we have an exotic uh, flame maple down on the bottom as well. And they'll come in a variety of colors. I think there's uh, 12, 11, and 12 as far as finishes go. They come in six and seven strings. Um, so those are brand new uh, for this year. Those are available to order, pre-order right now on ormsbyguitars.com. Uh, cheap plug. Okay, I can say exactly what happened. We're hungry, so we needed to go out for food, and uh, we were leaving through the door, and Chapman's booth was to the next of the door, and Glenn spotted Steel Panther, and being the fanboy that he is, begged me to go up to the Chapman booth, which was slightly awkward. I can't get a picture, will you take it of me? I'm in my element, it's Steel Panther! <laughs> That's a genuine question. Uh, and being the lovable guy that he is... I obliged him. <laughs> and I met Sticks in India and Michael Starr. DM. Well, thank you. Thanks so much, man. You're welcome, man. I'll see you in May, man. Right. Nam Day 2. Well, we're midway through Nam Day 2. But I'm gonna put this at the start of the Nam Day 2 and pretend like I didn't forget to record this bit. Nam Day 2! Nam Day 2! We're here at Nam 2023, here at the Rev booth. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna take a look at what a Rev have to offer. This is the 120. Yes. Okay. Generator 120. You bet. And we have the 100R and 100P in the in the generator series as well, and also our little lunch back lunch box head, the G20, which is uh, a variation of the Channel 3. The and so it's just as aggressive. Well, I wouldn't say just as aggressive. I mean, it's, 6V6s do compensate a little bit for the yeah. lower wattage just because they have lower headroom in the tubes. Right. But... <laughs> So similar voice, for sure, and yeah. the, the same thing with the clean channel being like very clean. So that's very versatile. Totally. Oh, yeah. yeah, like... So, yeah. so what, what is that amp? The G20. Oh, okay. Yeah, the yeah. G20. It's, a, it's essentially a 20 watt version of the purple channel on this amp. Yeah. So this one here. Right. Yeah. yeah. That is cool. Yeah, it's quite a little more compact. And then all these have the two notes uh, tech built in, like the direct outputs. Um, so basically you can hook it up to two notes as software, actually load different IRs and like speaker profiles onto the amp and then just record by the XLR port if you don't want to make noise. Yeah. Or go front of house, like for, for live. And do you need to like put a load on it still? Nope, that's oh. a built, built in load box. Mm. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, even the big head. Yeah. Eight, yeah, there's a, a 400 watt loader. It's a big stinking thing, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> that <Cool>. works. <laughs> This is a bit of a vibe. The 
2023 NAM show. Just want to show you guys what we have new in store for this year. Uh, this is the new X7. So this is something we're doing new this year, which is the California Buckeye Burl top, which you've guys seen before. But now we're doing a twist with the epoxy infused resin tops. As you can see, this is the royal purple. Comes in the Fishman Fluence Moderns. And also a new feature this year is the Evertune Bridge. Uh, as you guys know, it's super sick. We love it, we love working with them. And then it comes with a five piece Wingate Maple neck. Uh, this is a 27 inch scale, three way blade switch, voicing options, and a matching LED kill switch. Definitely one of the new features for this year of this lineup. And as you can see, we'll go ahead and show you a different color here. It also comes in the Caribbean blue. I just want to show how crazy this top is. Uh, so as you can see, again, the epoxy infused resin here. We swirl it a little bit to give it more texture. And yeah, man, it's a production guitar. You're looking around $2,000 for this build. Uh, it's got custom features for a production price point, man. You can't go wrong. Stainless steel frets. And this also comes with rich light ebony fingerboards, so it's never going to shrink or expand on you. So right now we're offering full Pale Moon build. So Pale Moon top, Pale Moon fingerboard, Pale Moon headstock cap. And the best part, a full Pale Moon neck, Pale Moon back. We even matched the, uh, the control cavity as well, just to give it that crazy look. Yeah, and right now these are $3,000 for our custom builds here. We built about 20 of these, so they're gonna go pretty quick. But just something to show off for the show, what we can do. And here's our anniversary. This is actually made in Japan from the famous Fujigen factory. Uh, this is the first headless guitar they've ever built. And they did the first multi-scale builds on the seven and eight string versions of this as well. So we kind of made history with these guitars as well. And as you can see, we also work with Fujigen directly. So we distribute their guitars as well. So Legator and... Uh, Legator and FGN, or the Fujigen factory. That makes Ibanez Prestige and all those other models, like oh, Comparison really? and stuff. So they're making our Japanese line, as you can see right here. And uh, we distribute them as well in North America, Canada, and Mexico. And are, are the resin top? Are the resin top? Uh, no, that's actually our custom shop. Oh, really? Yeah, our custom shop in South Korea that we run and manage. So that's how we can keep the price point down. Because if we did this through like Japan or the US, you're looking like $6,000. So we could do it for two thousand dollars that way. We source all the wood and all the material here in the states, and then we fumigate it, get it certified. We ship it overseas, and then we fly over there and oversee the production ourselves. Get it back here, and that way we can get you guys super insane custom looking guitars for production price points. You know, that's our whole motto. So this Michael Keen uh, is an artist of ours with the faceless. This is his original Keen machine. It's the nice green color. We do the purple finish. For this year, we came out with a seven string we've been working on with him. So you're the first to uh, release it if you post it tonight. <laughs> but this is a nice like uh, Lamborghini orange. The scallops. And we did scallop frets in here. Get a close up on that. So this is the quiet part of now. Yeah, I know. This is the. Oh, that's my bro. Everyone's your bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. But this, oh, you're filming. Yeah, this, I'm, I'm filming. Oh. These are like the meeting rooms, though. All these. Yeah. So. A lot of. That was very big. It's like, very that big. Was huge. It's it's. I mean, everyone's saying that it's not big, but it is big. No, everyone's saying this is scaled down. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine full on now. My legs are tired already. Well, I'm wearing my Crocs. Um, with with holes, holes to let the dignity out. Yeah. And I don't regret it. That's 
really cool. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so that's my Mirus model. That's a full car. And on the end, we have a semi car seven string Mirus. These are the Virtus models. This is the full car and the semi car. This is new for the year. This is the headless by a McLaren Speedtail. So you can see I have these pictures to show some of the design motifs. The engine bay cover emulated in the pickups. Uh, the Saragon quartz finish and the uh, red leather cover. So I made this just aesthetic. It fits over the top like a glove. You know, and snaps in over here. So it's just, that's just for aesthetic. That's just me having fun for the name show. Yeah. That's a really nice neck too. Yeah. So that's a... Uh, Michigan Silver Flamed Maple. I stain it black so it gets that nice look. So we're here at NAM 2023 with Ola Stramberg and this is a new model or a prototype. It's, yeah, it's a soon to be a new model. So this uh, started a number of years ago and uh, ex-pro cyclist Andreas Danielson, he contacted me and asked me if I could build a perfect travel guitar because he's, he's traveled all over the world. He's been like top of Mount Everest and well, you know it. He's, He's a proper adventurer, and uh, he's tried every travel guitar imaginable, and they always start jiggling and, and like being broken. So this has been kind of a rainy day project for, for many many years. We've we've done several iterations, and this is the first one that we're like proud to show. And it's I'm a my passion is more cycling than guitars probably, so. I uh, worked with a, a cycle manufacturer uh, called Mason Cycles and we use his Italian bike maker to hand craft this titanium frame and then this this is bike technology so it's it's through axis for mountain bikes we use and then we we made this uh, composite core so this this collapses into this kind of size and you use the same key. You can also the loosen neck. the neck if you need to make it really compact. But for most applications, I would expect you to just travel with it this way. And then obviously it becomes the guitar again. And, and it feels in place like a Strandberg. Yeah. And it, yeah, it just sounds amazing. That is really cool. <laughs> Last day. It's finally sunny, actually. What? Finally sunny. Oh, yeah, so it's the last day at Nam, but we're leaving early because we're going to see LA Guns in the Whiskey A Go Go, Hollywood, which is like an hour and something away. Anyway, fun times. Let's go Namming. Let's set those bubbles. No more bubbles and bubbles. So We're at DSM Humboldt. Uh, they've got a new simplifier, Mark II. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, well, it's such an honor you stopped by. Thank you so much. We're a company from Chile, South America. Uh, we just released the Black Clouds a few months ago, uh, hiking distortion, but we are now showing you the simplifier Mark II that is an amp simulator. Uh, it's the same footprint that the one we released back in 19. Uh, but now we added the power amp, distortion control that add a new level of realism because you can have the, the compression and the distortion that comes from the, the tube amps, you know? So it's not just as linear response, like, I don't know, the, the preamp gain with, with the capsing. We're, we're adding this control that gives you a, a, a very different feel, like, like a real tube amp on it. And it's completely analog, and we are now adding a reverb 
at the Channel River, but it's side chaining. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's very cool. Thank well, it was you. lovely to meet you. DSM Homeboats. We're at the Solar booth, NAM 2023. This is the European? European. Absolutely. Got a swamp fish body, every tune, you know that. Push pull, hand wired solar pickups, rich light fretboard, stainless steel frets. Like the fretwork is it's nice. Is this a baritone? No. Oh, uh, yeah, hold it. Oh, light. Yeah. And they, we have this carb, like it's a, it's a more shreddier version than the, the original A type from Solar Guitars. It's like carved with a bevel around all of it. And do we want to try it out? Yeah, yeah let's do it. <coughs> it chokes. Also met Ola while getting pizza. So that was NAM 2023. We're leaving now. Yes, uh, it's kind of still the beginning of the day, but it's starting to get pretty busy. So we're going to go to Hollywood now. Yeah. Actually, we're going to go to uh, Jack in the Box. That's the best ever. That's the place. It's it's great. I want we one at home. We just came to California for Jack in the Box. We've had it like four times now. Yeah. We're having it a fifth time. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. So this is this is our Motel 6 2.0. Motel, Motel, Hotel Bear. <laughs> it's significantly less orange, which is a real shame because that's a good color. Yeah. But aren't you glad it's not orange? <laughs> Be careful. It's nice though. Jesus, look at the phone. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you were proud of that. Are you ready? You want to capture this? You want to capture this? Ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Yes. Where are we? We're at Sam Ashville. We're in. Well, we're in Hollywood we're somewhere. Angeles. Yeah, we found the guitar center. It's it's that way. It's there. Ooh. They gave us hats. Look. And, and 
Oh, and t-shirts. Yeah. Sam Ash is cool. And now Guitar Center. 